Hello everybody, I'm Anthony, Milwaukee's Living the Elsa Marine. Today is a, another different video, and today is actually going to be a game review, and this one is not going to be um, a good, well, in my opinion, a good one, but I do have to say this, there were actually some parts that I actually really enjoyed, and this is a very different game review I am going to be reviewing, and it, the reviewing I am going to do for a 3D, and, th and this game that was released on the Nintendo 3DS, and it is Paper Mario the Sticker Star. Now, hold on one second. This game was released on the Nintendo 3DS of the... And this, and this is actually a fourth quote. I don't even know how you make it a joke, like a, like a fourth game already. This is the fourth game from the Paper Mario series that I really enjoyed. And Paper Mario is among one of my favorite gaming series of all times. Paper Mario Nintendo 64 is one of my favorite games of all time from the Paper Mario series. And and when it in the sequel, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door was kind of different that has different enemies and has some different partners and I partnership and I really enjoyed the Thousand Year Door a lot. I mean it's not in my opinion, it's not better than the first one. Cause for me, Paper Mario 64, I mean, I know you want to call it Paper Mario, but I'll basically Call it Paper Mario 64 because it's released on Nintendo 64. And Paper Mario 64 and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door are among one of my favorite games, one of my favorite games of the series. Super Paper Mario Grant, a Super, Mar Super Paper Mario, or you could call it Super Paper Mario Wii because it was released on the Wii. I have actually never beat the game and I played a little bit of it and it's actually a pretty good concept and it's actually pretty good so far. And I didn't beat the game yet, and I thought it's still pretty good. It did have some good, and it, it and it did have a little ele elements like Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door had, especially it had a quite elements from Paper Mario 64. I don't know fully about the Super Paper Mario, so don't blame me. So, yeah. This is the game, Paper Mario Sticker, Sticker Star. When this game came out, we were excited when this game came out. And yes, I still have it. Granted, I may or may not get rid of this. I don't know. But this game, in my opinion, I was actually, when this game came out, I was actually like, excited when this game came out. But then, I got this, I got this game, and, I mean, yeah, I got this game, and I was slightly disappointed of playing this game. Because I was so hyped about playing this game, because Paper Mario is one of my favorite series of all times. And I've actually don't have, I, used, I actually seen Super Paper Mario before, I never beat the game all the way through. I, I beat Paper Mario 2000 years or granted, I beat that game and I beat Paper Mario 64. But this game, I beat it, I, I beat it all the way through, like a long time ago, I beat it all the way through. And it's, for me, it's pretty bad and it's probably the weakest, in my opinion, the weakest game of the whole series, in my opinion. They're, granted, granted. That there was actually good graphics. Like I love how you grab the big weapons and you actually use them, and it actually has a really good graphics in it. And the awesome part is that you can actually press A while it's attacking the enemy. And you, I guess, the more you press it so many times to press the A button repeatedly, the more damage it takes. I'm guessing. And yeah, there was actually some parts of the game that was actually pretty good, but for the most part, it wasn't as good as the original games because. One biggest complaint I have, the I the one another one biggest problem I have with this game, is the the biggest complaint I have with the game is the 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 attacking. Like when you're about to attack the enemy, we all know that in the Paper Mario sixty four or because in Sanders and Paper Mario, you use when you're in that trouble and you're you're approached by enemies or bosses, you 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 either press jumps or items or use items. And basically, it's simple, right? But in this game, you basically just want you just you. It's required to buy the the jump hammer, the items. It's basically required. Although, granted, there was actually the heart container like they did in the previous games. But this is barely rare. They take off everything of what made the originals really good. For example, they took away the flower points, and I think they also took away the bonus points too. Bonus points are I think. Yeah, I think that's what's called bonus points. Where, where the more you collect the bonus points, the more, how the more you have the options to select an options for for special jumps or hammers, just like in Paper Mario 64 and Paper Mario 1000 Year Door Grand, to, to the both of those games console. But in this game, we only got the HP, which is the which is the heart, which we already know what that is. 
But granted, when you're attacking the enemies, that one that one's the first time that actually disappoint me. It's when I first attack on the enemy, it disappoint me big time. Because especially because you had to buy an item and you have to buy them. Because if you don't have them and the enemy shows up, I mean you don't you basically you don't have to fight the enemies because it's basically pointless to fight the enemies because when you fight it, when you defeated the enemies, you don't level up. Or even when you defeat them on the first attempt without an enemy trying to attack you, you just basically don't level up. I mean, you're you're just, I mean, granted, you can collect coins from it. You can collect coins, just like in the original Paper Mario games. But that's basically cheapest. This is, in my opinion, the cheapest game from the whole series, in my opinion. Or if not the cheapest game of all times. This should have been the first game to be released. If this was released first and then there was Pin Mario 64 and the Thousand Year Door, that could have been actually a really good release. That would have been a great chronological orders. So it can be actually knows what it was doing at the time. But no, this was released of the fourth time. The first one was Pin Mario 64, the Thousand Year Door, Super Paper Mario, and this game. And granted, the, the Paper Mario Color Splash, I, I never played the game. I saw the I saw the videos of the concept, and it still had problems, too. I never beat, I never saw it all the way through, because, in my opinion, it's not just because, uh, it's not because, well, I mean, well, actually, it is. The real reason why I, I didn't want to watch the whole video of the whole entire long play of the boss, of the, the Color Splash, is because I wasn't interested in that either, cause especially because I was growing up. Not only I've been growing up and getting away from the the latest Paper Mario games that's coming out, especially, don't get me wrong, when this game came out, I was actually excited, because although I never played Super Paper Mario before, I mean, I played parts of it, and it was okay, but when I played this game, I was excited. But, yeah, this game, I was excited, but then I was slightly disappointed when it came out. I mean, there was actually... Gr I mean, granted, just like in the previous Paper Mario games, you can actually buy the special moves of jumps and hammers, just like in the previous games. But in this one, I know you're gonna be, I know you're gonna be talking to the comments. Do you have to buy the normal hammer and jumps? Yes. I'm not even jumping. I'm not even joking. Not jumping. <laughs> wow. I'm not even joking. You can, you have to buy the normal jump and the normal hammer moves. They don't keep the. The, you know how in the original Paper Mario games that you can select jump or hammer easily. You can select that in order to defeat the enemies. But in this one, you have to buy all the jumps or the hammers in order to defeat the enemies. Or you don't have to defeat the enemies for the most part. You can just dodge them. You can just run away from them because they're basically pointless in this game. Because, I mean, for for standards in the original Paper Mario 64 and the Thousand Year Door, you, can, you have to... I mean, for me, I always have to... Defeat the enemies in order to level up because leveling up is important in the original Paper Mario games because it makes you stronger. But in this one, it's pointless. Defeating enemies is basically pointless in this game. Don't get me wrong. There was actually some good parts. Uh, there was another good parts in the game. Like you can actually get out of this, the games and you can actually place a sticker underneath. That's actually a pretty cool idea for it. But and, but in the game that was released for the fourth time, it's pretty bad. Because if this was released in the first game, if this was the first game, that could have been okay. At least they could have had like something to start with. But s seriously, I don't even think this was a good idea. Especially for a fourth game that came out. This should have been the first game to be released. If it was okay, I thought it was... If, I mean, if it was the first game, it would have been okay. But at least it would still have a good, a good start to this whole series. But yes, the plot to the game is... Every year, the sticker comet lands in the Mushroom Kingdom, and those who wish it on it has a good chance of their wish being granted by the royal stickers that resided within the comet. Mario attends the Sticker Fest, a festival held in the De Kelberg, to accommodate the sticker comet's arrival. And Princess Peach presents the comet on the festival stage. As the teleprint attempts begin to make their wishes, Bowser crashes the celebration of, like always, Bowser comes to ruin the party. Crashes the celebration and attempts to make his own wish by touching the comet. That causes the comet to explode, scattering the six royal stickers across the kingdom. One royal sticker lands on Bowser's head, corrupting him with his power. Bowser moves to kidnap Peach, but Mario intervenes. Bowser straightens, but the pow by the power of the royal sticker, overcomes Mario and then knocks him out. Just like how, just like in the original first Paper Mario 64, 
like the same plot where when Bowser comes and attack the party and Mario tries to defeat him but he gets knocked out and he passes out. So after regaining consciousness, consciously or yeah after um, coming alive like in the original Paper Mario 64 the way he uh, comes alive of course Mario counters Christy the sticker fairy caretaker of the Wario stickers. Christy then blames Mario for touching up the sticker comet and does not believe he tells her it was Bowser's doing. Christy demands that Mario help her recover the royal stickers, to which Mario willingly accepts. Together, the two embark on a journey to recover the royal stickers. Okay, so. And yes, by the way, guys and girls, I know you're gonna be asking yourself, can you actually. And this game is way different than the previous Mario, the first, sec, first two games on Paper Mario. It's so different. Not only because the gameplay is so different, but the friendship. You only get Christy as your friendship. That's all you get. Remember in Paper Mario 64 where you have so many friends to choose and you can actually have some great attacks moves on them? And in and two of the games? But in this one, you only get Christy. That's pretty much the cheapest thing you'll know. This this should have like I said, this should have been the first game to be released. It, it would have been okay, but at least it would have been a good start to the whole series. But as this as a prequel, it's just pretty dumb. But after, but yeah, basically Mario and Christy, you already know what happens. They defeat Bowser and the whole world is pretty much the way it is. But then, but then the, the, final, battle, the final battle, I do have to say this about Bowser, is pretty a little dis slightly disappointing about battling against Bowser. Because Mario pushes, um, because Mario and Christy, they finally found Peach, but a battle against Bowser, who's still in power of with the final royal sticker soon ensures eventually Mario pushes up Bowser off of a platform only for Bowser to grow gigantic portions due to a royal sticker's powers still being inside him. Christy then realized that her own sticker power is the only thing that can match Bowser's sticker power. Christy then sacrificed herself by giving Mario all of her power while apo well as apologizing for forcing him to go on a quest with her in the first place. I mean, this is the part that kind of confused me. Why would you apologize, Mario, for going on a crazy adventure to defeat Bowser? To believe him, pa Mario, Paper Mario is a man. He d he came across to save Princess Peach in the previous games. Paper Mario sixty four, he had to save Princess Peach with all of his friends that he hang out with. They didn't force him to attack him. He Mario wanted to hang out with. He wanted to be friends with everybody to help him out during the quest. They didn't want. He didn't want to be forced by someone. Especially Paper Mario, he's a man. He can defeat Bowser no matter what. Because remember how Paper Mario, he can actually defeat Bowser in the first, second games? And I'm guessing he defeats Paper Mario, Paper, um, the Wii game, I'm guessing? That one, I, I didn't get that much. But yeah, Mario is able to defeat Bowser and save Peach, like always in the, in the Paper Mario series. And yeah, Peach then reminds Mario of a royal sticker's ability to grant wishes and asks Mario what his wish was. And Mario and Peach arrive back in Del De De Calvert to once again present the sticker comet. Bowser then once again attempts to touch the comet, but just before a touch, he touches it, Christy pops up and stops him, revealing that Christy was revived by Mario's wish. Christy then states that if the sticker fest is to be th this way every year, she, we she, we she w would need to reconsider her career. What a story, Mark. Just kidding. But seriously, the plot to this game is pretty dumb and it's it basically what you see it's basically like almost the same thing as like the originals. I don't have problems with that, but the thing about Christy, she's Christy is the only friend of Mario in this game, which is a, a slight disappointment because in the original games he had a bunch of friends to hang out with. Cause just in case if he's not if just in case if one friend alone can't do can't take everything of himself, he could have had one. But seriously, I like the story is okay. It's just not that good, in my opinion. It's not as good as what you see in Paper Mario games. Although there was actually, although the game is bad, but there was actually. Let's talk about the like. There, I do have pros and cons in it. Pros for me, there was actually good parts of the game. That the graphics look pretty good. There was actually that the big attacking of using the bigger attacks. Although 
I have to admit that one thing that kind of annoys me about the bigger attacks is that it fills up, it literally fills up the whole entire page, which makes it slightly disappointing. And you have to sell, you have to make room for that item, which makes it slightly a little annoying for it sometimes. But that's still just for the amusement. But for the cons, for, for like the bad things is about this game is that the, the whole idea of this game, especially this is the fourth game that was released from Paper Mario, especially this was after the success of Paper Mario 64, The Thousand Year Door. They could have done anything great just like the previous games we had over the years. They could have done anything great. And this game doesn't do much for me and... Yeah, I don't. I don't have to say this is the worst game ever, but there. This is simply the weakest game of all of the series of Paper Mario series of all times. There was actually some good moments in it, but for the most part, it's not good. Nowhere near as a good Paper Mario game. And I don't know if Color Splash even revived. I don't even know, and I don't even care. But. Overall, I may have to sell this game, especially because knowing that this is the fourth game. And not only that, but I, I kind of lost my interest in this game, especially because I tried going back to this game once again. Especially because I, back then I was really, I was really disappointed about this game when it first came out. When I bought, I played this game, but then I was disappointed. But then, nowadays I played it again, and I just wanted to play it again more just to, you know, get memories just before I start probably getting a rid of this game, because this game is literally not near as a good... Well, for me, it's not a good game, especially because the story is okay, but the graphics is good, but the whole entire idea, like, the gameplay is pretty bad for me. And, and oh, yeah, by the way, there's one thing that really doesn't make... Well, I mean, kind of, like, it doesn't make sense. When you're trying to go through places, there's actually a hint spot that you can actually collect, which is the HP plus 5. And you have to collect those in order to not only get stronger, but have health, better health. Wow, that makes it more, uh, more harder. Because why can't you just simply get the level up instead of just finding all the HP plus 5? Why can't you just simply add the level up just like in the original games? So they can make it slightly, dis slightly easier for some viewers. You don't have to go around all over the place to find HP plus 5 in order to get... And by the way... I think the first you start with, I believe it was 10. And then you had, and the highest is 100 of the HP. And wow, this game just doesn't, it makes this game, the gameplay is more complicated than the originals were. Because the originals were actually simple and easier. But in this one's way harder and you had to look around places. Don't get me wrong, I don't have problems with looking around in role playing games. But especially this is, especially if this is, if this was before, like, the first games, that could make sense. And then Paper Mario 64 came along and Del Thousand Year Door, that could have been actually a better improvement. I mean, if this game could have been good, it could have been good if it, this was the first game, but this is the fourth game they released. That's slightly disappointing and wrong timing to release this game. But that's, 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 and there's no, in this game, there's no flower points and there's no bonus points in this game. There's none of that. You're just basically looking around, finding eight plus five that's it and you have to get all the star comments in order to defeat the boss that's pretty much it while the gameplay for me is a little corny especially i mean don't get me wrong when you beat when you defeat a stage you basically get a lot of excitement like when you when you collect the comment from a stage you get all the excitement and then you collect a jackpot of coins which is okay but i still wish it's still the level up i i don't know maybe it's because i care so much of the original paper mario game so much I basically care so much of the original Paper Mario games. But I don't think this is a terrible... I don't think this is the worst game. For me, it is not the worst game I've ever played in my life. There's other games that are pretty bad. But but, it, but, for, a lo but for a sequel alone, is not a good sequel to... The, especially this is a follow-up to the previous three games. And this is not near as a good follow-up to... But yeah, this is, my, this is just my review of Paper Mario Sticker Star... 
If you enjoy this game, that's okay if you enjoy this game. But for me, I don't. I didn't enjoy this game, especially I was. I, that goes to show you in, in real life, people. When you ex, when you are when you are excited for something that you are excited to see, make sure it's good. Just look at the gameplay, or even look at the, at least look at like especially look at the gameplay before you even play the game, especially along sequels too. If this is the first game that you play, if you play the game, if this is the first game, like for example, first game like Crash Bandicoot. If this is a good game, like, it's, don't get me wrong, I really love Crash Bandicoot on the PS1. I really love that version. And, yeah. I love Crash Bandicoot, and the sequels are really good, too. But, yeah, like I say, people, don't always get your hopes up for everything that you grew up with. Don't get hopes up. You gotta make sure if it's good. That doesn't... You gotta make sure it's good. You, you can't always go with what people say, too. You can't always go with what people say, too. I mean, don't get me wrong. I agree with some statements of what they're saying, but for but for me, it's just my own my own opinion. And my life lesson to you: don't give don't give all your hopes up just for over a movie or even a game or even a TV show too. I mean, don't get me wrong. I I was excited when this game came out, but when I played the game, it was pretty it was pretty bad. But especially this happened to me all the times on movies when it comes out. I I was so dis. I mean I there wasn't there was not a lot of movies that I was excited to see. I mean don't get me wrong. Granted, uh, MCU films MCU films I was actually I was actually excited to see them because I I'm actually excited to see the continuation of the series too, especially of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm actually excited for that. But overall I I was don't get me wrong Marvel fans I I was actually. Slightly was going away from MCU for a while because I've been so busy for a while. And that's why that's why I haven't been posting so many videos lately. Especially because I've been really busy. I've been dropping away from things. Not a lot, but some things that I was entertained. And I decided to um, go away from that and try new things. If it doesn't work, then I'll just return to my old self. Stuff like that. But, yeah. Life lesson. Make sure it's... Like like life lessons to you, don't always give your hype up. Don't always give your hopes up. No matter what it comes out, it has to be good. And cause especially because we got YouTube, right? We got YouTube. So if a game comes out, you just basically want to watch the videos. And if you're like, oh, okay, this is this is still gonna be a pretty good game because of the gameplay, then go ahead and bite it. But then when you saw the trailer for it and you thought it was good, but when you saw the gameplay it was bad, don't buy it. Although, when I was younger, I bought this game, especially because I was so excited to see this game. But you got I do have to admit this. I didn't see the gameplay of that on YouTube, too, by the way. I saw it on TV, on the trailers, when they showed this. I was excited to see it. So, I didn't watch the video, so that was a really let, big letdown for me, too. So, yeah. This is not the... In my opinion, this is not the worst game ever. But this is simply the, the weakest of all. I would say, I would say I would some somewhat like like I mean there's sometimes I would say I like some parts of the games but then for the most part it's forgettable and it's nowhere near as a good game for me in my opinion but yeah just to wrap it up this game is nowhere near as in my opinion a good game in my opinion but at least it has some good parts in it but it doesn't add up to what we saw in the plot the gameplay that's basically what you see in gaming today. Especially what you see today in gaming. Especially on the PS4 gaming, too. That's probably why I don't play PS4 systems anymore, too. Especially because nowadays they're all about buying stuff and buying stuff. All that useless stuff. What happened to the good old days where the consoles is not about buying? You can actually play it. I don't know. That's just my problem with the generation these days. I don't know. Maybe I just... Maybe I'm just like, um, like that YouTuber. I hate everything. <laughs> Could be that. But that's just my opinion. But yeah... Just to wrap it up this video, I'm just going to show you what this um, case looked like and when I open it and, you know, what they what it looks like. So that's basically it. So let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this game. Did you like? Did you love it? Like you have no problems? Did you like it? Like there's some parts that you like it but you didn't like it too much? Or did you hate it, this game? I would some. I would say I somewhat like that means, like, I don't like it, but I somewhat like it. I mean, it means, like, there's some parts of the game that was good, but for the most part, I didn't like it. For the most part. 
So yeah, this for overall for me, this a let this is a basically the biggest letdown and well, it's not the biggest letdown, but this is a slightly a uh, a uh, a break. Uh, this is a, a disappointment, especially this is a game. It, I mean, is this game insulting to the original games? It is. It's it's kind of is disappointing. Don't get me wrong. There was good parts of it that was actually pretty good. But this is this is kind of dis, this is kind of insulting to the original, especially because we grew up with simple stuff, simple moves to attack enemies, simple leveling up. So I, I would say this is insulting to the original games. But this is not the worst game ever, like I said. So got the, so at the end, I'm just gonna show you what the case look like, and I'm just basically gonna be done. So yes, this is the case of the 3DS Paper Mario the Sticker Star, and and this is what this is what it looks like when you open it. You get the case and the the game, and the back cover, and this is the back cover by the way, the back cover to the game too by the way. Uh, put it on focus just in case if it's a little off focus. Stick the world together. Uh, no, we should not. When an, when an astral medical event rains stickers across the land, Mario embark, embarks on an epic flat out adventure. So yeah, I agree about the flat out adventure of how bad it is. It's not not like terrible or anything, but seriously. I hate it when games are just like, oh, this is exciting, this is gonna be awesome. Like, yeah, like, you gotta check things out before you even know it's gonna be good. But this is basically the back cover of the game. And this is, I'm going to show you the case. So this is the original game that I had, well, I mean, when it first came out. There's actually three, or no, there's not actually there, three. There's, there's only one, which I'm not going to show. So, so yeah, this is just the case of the game. This is the front page, and this is the back, or this is the back page. So, yeah. And this is, whoa, I never realized that before. It opens up, I just noticed, when you open it up, it opens up like this. That's actually pretty cool. But I feel like it's kind of pointless, because it doesn't really, I mean, it's not too pointless, but it looks pretty cool, but it's just, in my opinion, it looks pretty, I don't know, pretty, pretty, I mean, I would not say cheesy, but it looks pretty pointless. I guess because it just, I mean, don't get me wrong, though. No. It looks pretty cool for the for this. It kind of reminds me of Ringo Stars. I want to be Santa Claus, where it has like this, and it where it has like a big square things, and yeah, it's okay. It's not near as great cover in my opinion. It looks pretty cool, but this and and the second the second one is just like if you like this game, then check out the other ones. Which yeah, I don't like this game. Don't. Suggest me anything, all right? So this is just like um, this. I'm gonna show you this part, but this is just like a club in the cell. It just basically shows you what you're gonna get. I mean, well, this is just like a gift card, which I am, which is which is all. Well, it's actually a club Nintendo. Like get like members only benefits, get games, gear, and more. Club Nintendo, which I don't do that. I don't go to club club Nintendo, especially because I'm not into gaming these days. So don't blame me. This is just my, what I do. So, yeah. So that's basically all it. Well, oh yeah, one thing I'll show you first. Yeah, because what I mean is like Ringo Starr, I want to be Santa Claus. And by the way, I listened to this album uh, before a week ago, and it's actually uh, for the second or no for the third time. It's actually really good so far. It's actually a really good album so far. I might actually do a review on this album later on. Maybe on December I'll do a review on this album on December. I just gotta listen to this album a little more. I, I you know what's actually pretty funny. I know it's about this album is that this album when you flip it over it says Ringo Starr I want to be Santa Claus, but in the back cover it says I didn't even caught this before it, but it says Santa Claus I want to be Ringo Starr. That is hilarious and I didn't caught that before. How clever is that? And I thought it was the same thing because I was thinking like oh this looks pretty same thing, but for this like. Cause I thought when I when I flipped it over, it looks the, a little bit the same, but the names they changed the the Ringo Star. I want to be Santa Claus to that. So yeah, 
What I mean by why it looks like Ringo Starr's I Want to Be Santa Claus, because when you, because when you bought it, you probably bought this album when it first came out. You probably didn't. A lot of, because a lot of people probably didn't buy this album when it first came out. But when you open it up, it's like, a, like, it's foldable. Like, it's foldable. That foldable. That's how you call it. And it co contains lyrics. And it's insane the way it opens up. It's insane. And when the back cover, it's just like, it adds up. Because in this one, for me, it, it's not pointless the way they add the foldable. As long as it adds up to the whole entire the whole entire um, the album cover for for an album cover for for a game if you make a, a foldable board that's actually has a, a connection and make a connection to it that will actually be not pointless and actually pretty cool so yeah I'll, I'll later on I'm gonna do a review of Ring of Star I want to be Santa Claus which I'm gonna do a review review of that on December and I may be doing the ranking least favorite to favorite tracks on that album but it's going to take a lot of time, especially because I've been listening to this album a, lot, uh, a, a little more recently, but not a whole lot. So it depends. Maybe I'll, 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 maybe I'll do the review first or do the track. Like, yeah, I'll do the review first because when I listen to the tracks, they didn't really change too much. In my opinion, they didn't really do much for me too much. I don't know. But overall, um, back to Paper Mario Sega Star. So. What do you guys think of this game, especially when when it first came out? Did you like it? When, uh, did you like it when it first came out? Did you get hyped up and you didn't like it now? Because that that's okay. You're not the only one. Because I I was happy when it, I was hyped when this game came out, but then when I played it, it was bad. So like I said, don't always get your hype up too much. At least at least look up like the I mean at least look up for the development for the game. Or at least for movies, look at the production as just in case that something's gonna happen. Cause that it happens all some it happens all the time in movies where you look at the production file use, it's where it messes up the movie. Especially who's directing producers and especially casting too. Okay, I don't know what the freak was that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should just woke up. I don't know. It's late at night and it's yes, I'm building on night at at yet at the video of midnight yesterday and man i i am really tired so yeah wrap it up paper money sick star is not my fairy game and yeah it's it's bad but not terrible or god awful there was actually parts of the game that was good but overall not good in my opinion so overall thank you guys and girls so much for watching this video like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. My social media are in the description if you want to follow me there on what I'm doing so far. Um, what I'm doing so um, or I don't know. Go on the social media in the description to follow me there, so you can stay. Um, so you can stay inputs to before before I make videos. But I don't. I don't prepare you guys for the video. I basically sh share what I, I. What I. What happened to me in my. Daily, daily, daily life. I meant to say, but um, as I will see you in the next video, change the world, peace and love.